The governor introduced his budget in the State of the State Address at the Unicameral today. Here are some of the highlights. It limits the growth of state spending to an annual average of 1.3% during the next two years. Pillen proposed an additional $390 million investment into the property tax credit relief fund. He also wants to see $1.5 billion in income tax cuts for people, families, businesses, and Social Security recipients. And he pitched his Education Future Fund, the billion-dollar investment in the fiscal year 2023-24. But one thing the governor does not mention in his State of the State address, health care funding. A joint statement by multiple hospital groups says his budget ignores the crisis that providers are facing as they care for Nebraskans. KTV News Watch 7, Sean McKinnon spoke with the State Hospital Association, joins us live with their reaction. Sean. If you have trouble getting access to health care services, the Nebraska Hospital Association says it might get worse. They say the governor's current budget proposal may not be able to keep some Nebraska hospitals alive. <laughs> Governor Jim Pillen confident as a hog farmer in his budget proposal. This budget is very, very doable. Um, I always like to say when I have confidence in something, I'll bet the farm on it. But the president of the State Hospital Association says Pillen's budget leaves a hole in health care. The governor's budget proposal ignores the crisis. Jeremy Nordquist says Nebraska hospitals wanted an almost 10 percent budget increase, enough to keep up with their costs. Reading the governor's budget right now, it looks like there's no increase in, in Medicaid at all. Governor Jim Pillen defended the stagnant health care budget, calling medical bills upside down. I think everywhere in health care has to start uh, uh, studying and really figuring, studying that problem to come up with a solution. Uh, I'm not an advocate that more money will solve our health care problems. Nordquist says Nebraska hospitals are reliant on state funding because Medicare and Medicaid rates are already set. For most of our hospitals, anywhere from 60 to 80 percent of their money that comes in comes from a government payer, Medicare and Medicaid, and those rates are set. He says more than half of all Nebraska hospitals are operating in the red. And if the budget doesn't change in the unicameral, we will lose services and maybe even hospitals across the state. But for Governor Pillen, spending is not a luxury he's willing to afford. I'm not one that believes just because we got a whole lot of money that we that we should uh, just go and spend it. Norquist emphasized rural hospitals, health care, nursing homes, and behavioral health services would be hit the hardest if they don't get more funding. Now, Governor Pillen's budget proposal heads to the unicameral. Reporting live, Sean McKinnon, KTV Newswatch 7.